back for another day. Oops, sorry, man. Strong start in two seconds. It's heavy. I'll take a chance on that, I think. Somebody owes me a burnt one of these. Afternoon. Do you mind if I put that down there for a minute? Is that all right? Thank you. Oh, well, it definitely works. I just made it kick off. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. How are you, mate? Good. I'm always lurking in the corners. Sorry, a little private convo then. £3.75, what is... It's a bit ratty, I think it's a bit cracked, isn't it? No, or no ordinary designer bag. I think even in that condition it's worth a pick up. Loads of pool pottery in by the look of it. Loads of it, isn't ya? Oh, sorry, my darling. Sorry. That's for... A funeral, a uh, bloody gravestone or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it turns out apparently I sell in continents pants now. Not a bad little quick trip in there, just topping up the store. We'll dive straight into it. Ted Baker London bag. It says on here, not your average bag or something like that. What does it say? No ordinary designer bag. Now, I don't know if most of you know, but I believe it's Ted Baker that have recently just gone into administration. Well, they've gone bust or something, but it's like a hard but soft, medium, plastic, tote bag. Nice one, £3.25 on that. £3.75, oh, I got done, didn't I? Lexibook alarm clock with night light, Mario Kart edition. I think that's really smart. I did set it off in the shop, but don't really want to set it off again now. There's a few scratches, a few bits of dust, but I can clean most of that up. £3 paid on that. I think there's £19.99 out of that. I'm hoping so anyway. This was a bit of a strange one. I just go I basically I'll Google image this one. So it was one pounds fifty in the box, and it's figural. Let me, show, let, let me see if I can butcher this as well. See if I can piss off what I believe to be the Italians. Nope, Czech Republic. So I'm going to try. Oretta figural. Well, actually, I think I nailed that. To be fair, it's Mary and Jesus with Christmas coming up. Things like this would be really nice. Just, it's like a flat piece of porcelain type thing. But made in the Czech Republic with the box. Some of their actual figures go for like 20 to 50. I can't find the flat one, so I don't really know to be honest with you. One pounds fifty we picked up some Staunton chess pieces. Nice and cheap. In these little boxes, I think it's like bake light, to be fair. But these are like a carved wooden, plasticky type of material. Probably bake light as well, actually. Probably. No, I think it's more of a mixed plastic. I don't really know. But these, this size in this box, they sell quite easily for like 18 to 20 quid. So not a bad pickup at all for £1.50. Build a bear small fries for 75 pence, just because I don't think I've picked up a small fries one before. If I have, I forgot. 75p. I'm hoping it's worth like four or five on Vinted, maybe. Now this, I don't know how to date it. I am going to do some research, of course. It was £2.75. But it looks like something you put on a gravestone. However, obviously, these flower arrangements are not always just for gravestones. But it's got the grid inside here. Gritty, gritty. Do the gritty. It's like a nice amber colour glass. It's pressed. So it is pressed. That's so going to help with a little bit of the dating. But I've got to do a bit more research into that. That was my let's learn something today pick up. Paid £2.75. I'm hoping like 20 But if it's worth more, fantastic. If it's not, I've learned something. And... When I'm researching, I'll probably see the ones that are worth money, and that'll stay in my brain. Six pounds, first pickup, is this Thomas Tank Engine, Thomas and Clanky Air Power Service Set. I haven't checked it all out yet, I had a quick look while I was in the shop, and it seems to be in there. But for six pounds, I don't mind picking that up, even for spares or repairs. But with Matey in there who does the electrics, that's going to have been tested. I'm hoping anyway. 
six pound paid on that. I think it's an older one, like 2004, 2005, something like that. It's got the old Argos sticker on the top. Somebody's got one sold brand new and sealed for 29.99. So whether they got a good price or not, I don't know. 2002, there we go, not bad. And incontinence pants, check me out. I now sell washable boxes with a recommended 200 wash cycle rewashable boxes. Now, if you need to be wearing incontinence pants, I can imagine as a man, as a female, as a whatever, it's obviously not the best. These kind of blend in as normal boxer shorts. Might keep a pair for my later years, but for £2.50, these are selling online for like 13 to £15 a pair. I'll list these for 9 99 each and just get them gone and give somebody else a little bit of an extra bargain. So that's all the pickups, which wasn't bad at all, was it? I've actually got a couple of sales that need to go out, so let me just get those sorted out. I'll be with you. So first of the tins that I picked up at the weekend for, I think it was like £15 for a bundle of stuff. The tin has sold for £10.99. It is not in the best condition, but what it represents is an image of the opening of Parliament. So obviously to people who are that way inclined and they have interest in those kinds of things that's going to be a really nice piece for them to have it is patinaed it is a bit messy it's by Huntley and Palmer in Reading which is just at the road from me it is scratched it is rusty it is a bit tatty but it adds to the character which is what I mentioned in the listing as well so £10.99 free shipping I've sold something else from that bundle as well but I can't remember what it was oh yeah the elephants £16.99 I paid £15 for everything and I've still got a load left listed and or to be listed. So vintage biscuit tins which depict stuff do have value and it was Jess aka Mouldy Cow that actually put me onto that about five years ago. So big up Jess, I appreciate you. This one's gone. And for £2.22 we have sold some top trumps. I think I've had these a little while now. I just found them the other day and listed them quickly on Vinted. These have actually sold to Leona. She left me a message. Love your channel Ricky and your beautiful family. You're such a lovely genuine soul and you are so caring about making your customers happy at Car Boots, rather than racking up the cash. Angela. Oh, I said, Le I said Leona on here. It's because of the... Um... Listen, Vinted Profiles, Vinted Usernames send me sideways. I have to try and guess. <laughs> but Angela. So Angela, I really do appreciate that. They'll be on their way to you today, and I really appreciate your kind words. Thank you so much. And last but not least, for £44.99, we have sold one pair of the Gale speakers. I have one pair left underneath down there somewhere to get up but they sold 44.99 all in and annoyingly they need to be packed up today so i'm going to crack on with that and i'll catch you on the next one thank you so much i appreciate it